Let's kick it over. Speaking of Logan, let's kick it over to Logan for his take with the Phoenix Mercury. And we're actually. Do you want for this for the sake of Twitch? Do you want me to try to play the Marco Polo? Uh, So Uh, for Twitch watchers, Logan didn't get us his stuff until just right as we were beginning the stream. Uh, So I've got it here. Um, Let me see. Yeah, see if you can pull it up. That'd be sweet. I, I mean, it'll be poor quality because it'll literally just be me like holding up my phone to the the camera. But let's see. What yeah, we can get. no, for for the stream, let's do it. Let's see, um, gotta exit out of our stream for a minute. Let's do that. Got a resolution here for you for the the Indiana Fever. Wait, was that who was supposed to be doing? Uh, res- mm-hmm. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, let's. I, I said I said Phoenix. I don't know which. I I think. Okay. Give me a Indiana. second to find it. All right, Indiana. WMB Nation, next up we've got resolutions for the Phoenix Mercury. All right, there we go. And you know what? I'm going to go a little different direction in this one, but I think their resolution this year needs to be one of identity. Um, there's going to be a changing of a guard for this team soon. It's already kind of begun with the departure of Sandy Brondello. Um, that, you know, that, that run to the finals where they came just short against a stacked Chicago team surely was disappointing, but it, it also kind of signified maybe the need for – you can't just run it back with that same team. You know what I'm saying? I think there's a need for a change there. And um, nothing nothing is seismic. I think you can follow maybe the Minnesota model of, you know, get some get some young guns in there and kind of figure out who the team's going to be in the future, the next two or three seasons, and make another run. Um, I expect this to be a team that, at, at the very least, is a tough out in the playoffs next year. Um, I don't know if, if, I, if I feel comfortable making a championship the ceiling for them just yet, but – they need to define who they are. And for a long time, they've been Diana Taurasi and Brittany Griner. And while I fully expect both of those players to be playing in Phoenix uniforms next year, I think they need to figure out, much in the same way that Chicago did this year with Kalia Copper, they need to figure out what's next for them. I think it's finally time uh, that they do that after several years of kind of running it back with the same group. Um, I'm excited to see what, what the Mercury are able to roll out for the X Factor this season. So figure out your identity, get back into the playoffs, reload and continue to be a scary team to face in a, in a best of five. Solid. Um, I, I agree with him, Jason. I think, um, I, I, although I do think that even post Sandy Brondella and post, um, even, uh, Diana Taurasi, that they aren't completely void of identity. I do think that with Griner there and, um, even players like Sky Dig, who was there last year, um, I think that they, they still have a, a pretty solid knowledge base of who they are, but mm-hmm. I think maybe what Logan's saying is who, who is your, who's your vocal leader, right? You've had DT and Sandy Brondello, you know, that those two together for the last eight seasons, and, you know, DT for longer than that. Um, is it going to be Griner that steps up? And is that vocal leader? Is it Skydig? Is it somebody new that they sign soon? Um, I, and, and so I, th- I like that take a lot. I think that's a really solid call from, uh, from Logan on Phoenix. What are your thoughts? I agree. I think Phoenix made it pretty clear with their move with Sandy Brondello that they're looking to rebuild. Um, and that, I mean, they said as much in their, their PR statement that they sent out was that they're, they're planning to rebuild and reload. And to do that slowly is usually a process that leads to several years of mediocrity uh, as you slowly transition from kind of one group of players to the next group of players and from one team identity and coaching style to a new one. Um, so in some ways, I, I, I would even go a little bit more drastic than what Logan said, but just saying, find a new identity and, and sell out on that. I mean, if your new identity doesn't include Skydig or doesn't include Griner or doesn't include any number of, of situations, players, styles, anything, uh, make that transition quick. Because if you can form a new identity quickly, uh, the the rebound time, uh, I mean, not everyone can be Minnesota that rebounds instantly, but the yeah. rebound time is much shorter than, is, than if you try to do this kind of, well, let's meld the styles and let's slowly transition from the old team to the new team. Uh, if you're going to, if you're going to commit to the rebrand, uh, I say go in 100% and and make it happen faster and get back get to where you want to be quicker uh, rather than having several seasons of transition that you know where you where you end up in kind of that low playoff seed uh, first out type of range. Uh, I, I don't think that's where Phoenix wants to be. So for me, I, I would sell out on the transition and and maybe even step away from your old identity to get into the new one. 